Good afternoon, Radford basketball fans, and welcome to another edition of Sports Talk with Braggs here in Season 3, Episode 32. And we are honored here to have longtime friend of the families, Kenyon Giles, with us. KG, how you doing this afternoon? Doing good, Mark. Hey, thank you for having me. Oh, sure. No problem. Yeah, let's uh, let's start at the beginning here. Uh, you know, my wife and I here with... Uh, you know, uh, your dad coaching Grayson definitely, uh, definitely remember you, uh, you know, playing there in the uh, rec leagues when you and Grayson were like nine, 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so how was, uh, you know, so with the game of basketball, I mean, uh, did you, did you play both rec and AAU there at that age or just start with rec? And then when you got into middle school, then moved on to the AAU circuit. Well, I was playing both, so you know, come oh. I, you know, two different, you know, two different levels of basketball. So I right. started. I was playing rec and AAU, but I started off with rec just to really get me used to like the, you know, the different playing style here. It's very aggressive here, more, way more aggressive right. than what. Right. Yeah. Well, hey, and uh, you know, they're the city of Chesapeake. I mean, yeah, you know, I've seen the same thing here with. Uh, here with baseball, you know, a little bit different uh, caliber of play between rec ball and, um, you know, uh, the AAU travel travel circuit. But, uh, but hey, that, uh, that one year in rec ball, you know, made it all the way to the city championship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, but, uh, so, and then when you went into middle school, I mean, there with, uh, there with Chesapeake having a, having a middle school program, but the bad thing about middle, middle school school sports, you know, you don't play that many games. So definitely when you got into middle school, it's definitely getting serious about basketball. It's the AAU circuit, right? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. when I, that's when I really got into like a, the AAU circuit, like AAU thing, uh, especially like in middle school is only six games. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> In middle school, you know, Crestwood, we, they're great now, but, you know, back right. then, we were going to four, oh, and six, you know. So, right. it, like, to make up for that, you know, the less games in uh, the middle school, I used that with AAU. Right, yes. Yeah, and then and then in high school, you know, I mean, uh, you know, definitely there with, uh, you know, there when you were an underclassman, I mean, definitely Southeastern District, they're very – very competitive, but then uh, AAU there at the high school level a little bit uh, moved on to more competitiveness there in the AAU circuit, right? Yeah, very, very competitive. Yeah. Yes, yeah, and and how was how was the recruiting process? I mean, because since you're you know the same age as Grayson, I mean, uh, there with uh, there with the pandemic and. Uh, you know, high school sports, uh, you know, getting, getting shut down. I mean, how, how, how was that there as, as you were going through high school and trying to have basketball as a way to play in the collegiate level? Yeah. So start, it was very tough because I was coming off a, a pretty good sophomore year. I thought my kind of going to start coming in. I never really had coaches talk to me, but I thought after my sophomore year, that was the time then AAU shut down. And uh, I kind of use I kind of just use COVID to work on my weaknesses. So the next time they did see me, I was a full product for like good enough for them to offer me. So that was really yeah, yes. And then uh, you know you did uh, you are able to uh, stay in state, but uh, you know being a being a freshman there at uh, there at Radford and. And the Big South, yes, it's mid-major, but Big South definitely, definitely competitive. Yeah, yeah very competitive. Yeah, well, uh, well yeah, yeah, conference. Yeah. Right, and uh, I mean, even even right outside the gate, the non-conference games. I mean, yes, you might have been playing for a Big South team, but going to Marquette, playing Shaka Smart's team, going to Notre Dame. I mean. Boom! Right off the start, right off. Be ready. <laughs> we don't duck no smoke though. Not that way. We don't duck no smoke. All right. Yes. Yeah. But uh, 
hey, I mean, uh, you know, even since you were coming off the bench, I mean, you know, you definitely had a great, uh, great freshman uh, season. The Big South uh, recognized recognized you uh, a couple times here with, uh, you know, um, Rookie of the Week and uh, definitely making a, a, a end of the season uh, all conference team. That was yeah. That was, that was pretty much a good highlight of the year, really. Just making that freshman team, especially going through that tough little phase in the conference play. It was to get like my game being appreci- appreciated, right? But you know, even though the conference tournament didn't go the way you guys uh, wanted to, I mean, with you know my wife Elizabeth and I being a season ticket holder, you know, with uh, ODU basketball, I mean. Just Old Dominion always talked about here like 10, 12 years ago, get into any postseason tournament to keep playing. And you guys had the opportunity to go down to Daytona Beach. Yeah, that was a great, yeah, great experience, especially like one last time. We had a lot of seniors. So one last time to play with them. I'm very glad we all agreed to play in that. You know, my bond with them is even strong because of that trip. Right, right. And, uh, you know, and you guys finished uh, 21 and 15 overall and uh, and 12 and 6 there, there in conference. Yeah, that, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's, it's a good year, especially like a good bounce back year for Coach Nice and them after the, after the first year and second year. I think that's a great bounce back. And we're coming for more this year. Right. And the other thing is, is, uh, you know, I like how the Big South, uh, how the conference tournament, no more uh, play of the higher seeds. You know, Charlotte is a good uh, good metro city and having just, uh, you know, the whole tournament right right there at a neutral site and, you know, big city of Charlotte, uh, good for uh, Radford basketball and the Big South Conference. It put us on the map. It put us on the map, you know, one of those, like, one of those come off that San Hazel, San like Jose State or something like that, that was a great win for us. You know, that kind of put us more in the map because that was a pretty, that was a very good mid-major team and we beat them. So that was right. Kind of- yes. Yes. And then uh, what, uh, you know, I know that baseball, uh, you know, collegiate baseball players, you know, they, uh, they look for a summer team there to, uh, you know, stay sharp and everything. But what, uh, with college basketball, what is uh, what's your plans for the summer here? Uh, now that the now that not only the season's over, but the but your freshman year with uh, academics is done. Uh, I really just focusing on my game, like and then spending time with family. We, like people don't talk about that enough. Basketball is year round, right. you, you know, especially the college level. I really my family, so I'm really like spending time with my family. And then really while doing that, for like really working on my game to come back and go win a Big South title next year. Right, right. And uh, what I've seen on uh, social media, it looks like that the Radford basketball gets a nice uh, non-conference, uh, you know, uh, trip there to Japan. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, you know, that, that's great for us too. We get to get an early look at how, like, how we want to shape our team, like what everybody's strong suits is, because we got a lot of new players. So that's going to really okay. be Right, right, and a trip, a trip like that. I mean, with with Radford not having a football team, I mean, you know, just uh, you know, when you get to campus in in August, is that Japan trip? Uh, you know, like before you uh, you probably report early to get ready for that trip, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we we, we uh, somewhere like I think August fifth is when we leave. Oh, okay. Come back August thirteenth, one of those days. Right. We we probably go right back to school. I'm cool with that though. Right. <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah, and the thing is, is uh, you know, yes, you guys aren't too far there from Blacksburg, but I mean, with Radford not having a football team, I mean, the you know, uh, how are the crowds there at the Deadman Center? Uh, you know, I think. That Lonely game, man, that, that Lonely game we had at ESPNU, that was, like, a big, like, that was, like, this is college. Like, when I, that game, we walked out, I saw the crowd, our, our home crowd, that was, like, right. a 
college. Like this is what it's like. Yeah, the crowds get crazy like in the Devin Center. You know, you know the ride, uh, the riders get crazy, and you know, yeah, right. get crazy out there. I will say. Yeah, and the thing is, is of course with you know the last five or six years, I mean, just about every conference either has their own streaming service or has has an agreement with ESPN Plus, but. To piggyback on, it wasn't just that Longwood game that you guys got on uh, ESPNU or you know one of the TV networks. I mean, there were uh, there were uh, a couple more uh, Radford games. Even when you played uh, Marquette and Notre Dame, you know, even though you guys were the road team, with the conferences that those schools are in, you know, able to play able to play on TV. Especially, yeah, especially my freshman year, just get this early, like, you know, being in that, like, you know, a lot of adversity going in those type of arenas. Like, your first game is in the Bucks Arena. You know? Right. <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, in those moments, that to teach you, like, to the, really just depend on your work, though. You know, it's only y'all, it's only the coaches and the players, a little bit of fans, you got to figure out how to win it. So that's right. Why, that's why I love that we play that, this type of non conference. Because when we get in the non we get in the conference schedule, we're used to being away. We used to be right. twenty deep. Still right. got to- right, right. And uh, to piggyback on, I didn't. Re- I knew that Marquette was in Milwaukee, but I didn't realize that their home arena was the same as uh, the Bucks. And then when you went to South Bend, didn't you guys have have a day off to do some time there in Chicago? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. We had a little bit of time, you know. We, you know, we kind of stayed in bed, though. It's not really, you know, we still wasn't doing all that. We, it, it was an off day a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, the thing is, is uh, when you play college sports and you go to, you know, the tradition of Notre Dame or, you know, you go to these big cities, it's like, uh, you know, since you're going there for a game, it, it, you might be, a college student athlete, but, and it might be at the start of the regular season, but it's still a business trip. <laughs> yeah. We, we got to see the beam, you know, and we saw the, the famous, uh, we got to go on the field, you know, but still after all that, you got to get back in the game mode. We got to try to beat them. So yeah, right. that, like, yeah. And you know, the thing is, is with Radford being a mid major, I mean, how about the run that, uh, you know, uh, Florida Atlantic had there there in this year's tournament. Yeah, that was you know it opened it opened up a lot of eyes to everybody. You know, everybody could compete, especially how like the, the portal and everything's going. You know, everybody could compete. Everybody got the same level of players at at some point at any like you know any level. And you know, and it's it's big. March March is when you want to make that run. You know, right. it taught you. It don't matter how bad you are. If you can figure it out by March, you can make something happen. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. The thing is, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, even with uh, Fair, uh, Fairly Dickinson, you know, uh, knocking off, uh, knocking off Purdue. I mean, just uh, you know, the the madness of March. Yeah. You know, and that's why you, that's why people love it. But now that's right. like the first time I see it, it's right. like you get, you get the mindset like, dang, we can do this too. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and you know, and with and with the portal, and you know, and you're saying that uh, you know this year's overseas trip there in the late summer is going to be good for you guys to bond here with the new players and get the get the team chemistry. I mean, uh, yeah, it seems like no matter what college sport, you know, just the transfer portals just just gone crazy. Yeah, I mean, hey, I mean, that's what we're living in now in Call of Duty. Right, right, yes. Yeah, and uh, hey, so uh, how about the uh, how about the NBA playoffs? <laughs> I'm a LeBron fan. I'm trying. I'll just want to see it all the way. <laughs> they won't as long as it's not hurting my boy Legacy. That's all I want. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, um, you know, the other thing is, is, uh, you know, the Big South, I mean, definitely, definitely get more, get more TV coverage. And, uh, you know, so what did you like about, about Radford there in the recruiting process? 
Uh, the coaching staff was a big thing for me because, like, they're all together. And they're a young coaching staff. And I went to one practice. And, you know, what stood out to me was just, like, how they, like, interacted with everybody, you know, not the best player to the worst player. They had a conversation with every single person during that practice. And, you know, I'm big on that. It's how you treat it is how you treat everybody, you know, how you treat that worst person, the best person. That's who you are. And, you know, and so that's what I was like. This I could be here. This is a family. Like, this is a family type environment. And I love to be here. And I wasn't lying when I said it. But my first day on campus, family right. felt like a family. So I, I really love the decision I made. One of the best decisions I made. Yeah, well, that's well, that's good. I know that, uh, you know, we've, uh, Elizabeth and I, we've been out to Radford here with uh, our friend's son that uh, played baseball there at uh, 2015 to 2019. And, you know, since you're, since you're a basketball player, I mean, uh, you know, definitely glad that base that basketball is a climate control because uh, the winters start early out there in Radford. <laughs> it's it, it cold, yeah. <laughs> you know, the days of cold is way, yeah. It's way more days of it being cold than hot. I tell you that. You got <laughs> to take advantage of those hot days. Right. Yeah, and uh, you know, so the thing is, I mean, do you guys have interact? interaction there with the other uh student athletes there at uh, there at radford oh yeah a lot of interactions you know the Demon centers where everybody you know study halls there treatment rooms there so we pretty much we're cool with all the teams there you know everybody's cool with each other you know we're always together pretty much and then you know we also have the uh the rubies event you know oh, yeah they're at the end of the uh, yeah the end of the uh um school year there with um there with uh uh, awards there in the uh, Radford athletic program. Yeah, so that was you know so stuff like that always keep us together. And then we always like start the year off. We all we had a I think a cookout or something like that. So you know our AD over there, Robert Lynn, he always he does a good job of us keeping like keeping us together. Right. Yeah, and I did see that uh, fundraiser here for the basketball program. I mean, uh, Coach Huggins there with. Uh, there was West Virginia came to uh, came to Radford. Mm, yeah, I actually got to uh, go to the after party. You know, talk about some uh, you know the Roddy Reds thing. You know, so it was lot, met a lot of people. You know, so it was cool. Like I didn't get to see uh, Huggins and them, but it was like a good experience though, meeting new people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, uh, Kenyon. I mean, just uh, you know, good luck there with. Uh, there with the rest of your career. And I know with uh, following you guys there on social media, I mean, anytime, anytime that a uh, team can go out of, out of town, you know, but definitely when I saw that you guys have an opportunity to go to Japan, I mean, that should, that should be not only, you know, to uh, get the team chemistry, but also the competition that you guys face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and then you know, so that's one thing you scratch off your bucket list. You know, right. go to Japan. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Hey, and uh, you know, uh, now, now, are there any, um, are there any like, uh, you know, summer leagues for you guys to play in, or just do you just work out, work out yourself, and you know, just work on your game here now that you're home and have some, uh, have some downtime. I just work out. I just work out, work on my game, you know. You don't really get all the summer leagues and all that. I think the summer for me is just really just to focus on myself, you know, focus right. on what I got to get better to get ready for the conference play, you know. I don't really – not really in the summer leagues and all that, all like the video, all that. I just want to work on my game. Right, yes. Yeah, and that trip at the beginning of August, I mean, the, you know, you, you know, your, your summer is probably going to be cut short to – work work out on your own yeah yeah so you know take it i gotta take advantage of every day you know on myself every day. yeah well hey uh kenyon um appreciate your time coming on and anybody uh any few final words here for uh any of the uh, the high school basketball players here that are the, that are listening to this and want to play there at the next level uh, really, I say is you know, we said we talked about it earlier. You gotta live it. Like if you want to play at the next level, you gotta live whatever sport you play. You gotta live it, 
and you know, school school's important. You know, everybody says it but from first hand. School is very important, and how you treat people is important. You know, those big, how you treat people is a big thing. You know, because how you treat people is gonna help you after basketball, not just for basketball. So I was just saying, and then work hard. You know, you know what I mean. That's a big part. So really, pretty much, just you gotta live it. Yeah, yeah, and to piggyback on what you just said, I mean, of course, student athlete, you know, of course, there with that phrase, you know, books come first, and then it does seem like that, uh, you know, before they before they see you on the field or on the court, you know, what type of person or how do you handle yourself? So, you know, sportsmanship, you know, you know, that's a, that's a great point here that you uh, brought up here talking about, um, you know, hit the books first and then how you, uh, how you handle yourself. Mm, yeah, that's, that's a big part. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially being recruited, like coaches, everybody talks, you know, so right. if you're a bad person, that makes your recruitment, you're going to be hard to recruit because may, you may not be like, not everybody's heavily recruited. So if you're not, you know, you being a bad person might scratch you off the list for that one, that first offer you might have got. That's going to blow you up. So you don't want that to be the reason why, especially grades, too. You don't want that to be the reason why you're scratched off the list and you can't go to school for free. Right. And I do with social media, you know, uh, being popular these days, I know that the work, you know, there's some work companies that might look at, you know, a uh, uh, potential employee looking at the social media. And I'm sure with you know social media here with recruitment and posting highlights you know i'm sure that recruiting coordinator probably looks at a potential recruits you know social media page you know that's their first image of you is your social media they might see you in person they can't really say anything so like social media is important like what you post you know you don't want to go up there looking like a bad dude you want to go up there like best version of yourself that's what you want on social media Right. Well, hey, uh, Kenyon, I think I first met you there, uh, Rivercrest uh, Community Center there when uh, you and Grace had played on the same team and your dad uh, coached. But uh, great to see you now being a college student athlete. And like I said, before we started taping, I know that uh, my wife and I, we got uh, on the 23-24 uh, calendar to you know, come watch you play or maybe even drive out 460 West and come to the Deadman Center. Hey, it would be a great, it would be a great trip up there. It would be a great yeah. trip. Well, hey, uh, Radford uh, basketball fans, and I know that uh, some Radford alums will be uh, listening to this episode, but today here we had uh, Kenyon Giles, a.k.a. KG, join us on the show. So thanks again, and Enjoy your summer and tell your family the rags they'll say hi. I got you. You too. So Grace, I said what's up, man. I all seen right, you. we'll do. Yes. So thanks. all right. Well, thanks again for your time, man. And that's a wrap. Yeah. Okay. Yep, all, right. Cool. all right. See. You.